What is up guys, it's Jaffin today, it's GX Minecrafters here with a video on Photoshop and it is for, let me get his name up, Yo Dog Gaming, uh, and he asked how I can make the uh, little box flicker I've got at the bottom of my new videos that I can put my custom thumbnails on. I'm not partner, they've just given me that. I don't know why. But so I used Photoshop and this is CS6 because I can use the animations. You can probably use Flash to do this, but for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop CS6. So make a new document and make it roughly 500 wide and about 300 high because this has got to be high longer than it is high so as you can see you get this usually what i'll do is i'll make something and then size it down but for this tutorial i'll just do this and then to make the rounded squares that i made you come to your tools and it's either going to be rectangle tool but it's underneath this big black mouse here so you go to your rounded rectangle tool and if you hold shift and shift shift yeah if you just hold shift it makes it perfect like it makes it symmetrical so what you do is you hold shift drag it then you hover over that and press ctrl j ctrl j ctrl j three times because then you have four squares so then you just position them where you want make sure they're in line I'm not going to do this perfectly because I'm trying to, you know, keep down on time. Right. I think they're actually equally spaced. Yeah, they're equally spaced. So, um, what you do is you hover over the top one, hold shift. Actually, no, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, make, I usually make a folder or a group and call them like squares. And then all you can do is you shift that highlights them all, drag them into there, so that means you can manage them, but in the squares I think if you press control T it highlights all of them and this lets you do it all at once, actually that was not very clever, um, when you do that make sure you hold down shift because it keeps it all symmetrical, so, oh no 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 no, no. Ugh, I hate doing this, you've got to let go of, eh, you've got to de-click before you let go of shift, so eh, like that, Okay, I'm just going to hit enter. I mean, you can do this anywhere. I usually prefer to actually make it so that it's in the bottom left. You can make it so it's in the middle, then just do a selection tool. Uh, I'm going to do that because that's probably the preferred method to do. And then you get your text tool and you obviously drag it next to it. You're going to type in whatever you want. Me being who I am. I'm going to type in ZHDX Minecrafters. Uh, so this is a new font for the record, so I don't usually use it. I'm using it for my channel Cryptic Dubstep, which I'll put a link to below because, you know, I'm only 13. I want to get some. I want to get some reviews on it because I've been told by my mates and that that it's pretty good. So, what I usually use is Batman Forever alternate or outline for my thing I have outline because it's just neat and I can keep it in the background and if you set it to a dark colour it just blends in so ZHDX oh that's way too big all it is the Photoshop really is playing around so ZHDX Minecrafters uh, and if this always happens you can just drag the box out a bit and um, what I would do is make the box fit as tight around the word as possible because then you can hit enter or just de-click off the word and then if you want to make it any bigger select the layer uh, but don't get the text tool only get the uh, selection or grab tool and then press ctrl T to go into free transform mode and you can make it bigger smaller blah 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 but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like that click apply and you've got this but now comes the fun part the animation so uh, what you do <coughs> is you create video timeline now you open up this squares folder and you're presented with these 
and what you do is it really you need to find out which square is which so that's rectangle copy three if you just drag it about you can do that always remember to um, undo that but really you can just do whatever you want so what I would recommend doing is getting all of these clips I think you have to drag them back singly yeah so drag it back to roughly 20 frames because this once you get it on a loop yeah, that's all it is because otherwise you're taking up space stuff like that so then just drag your text back to the same it doesn't affect the text whatsoever so as you can see you've got these four tracks here what we're really worrying about don't worry about the, your name and so what you do is you go into it and you drag this slider across to zero you hit this stopwatch on style and then it's black at the moment so what you do is you go into it you double click over it you go into color overlay and you can select whatever color you want it doesn't matter what color as long as you just select a color that isn't the original unless you want it to be the original but as you can see it does that and then at the end what you do or just before the end because it usually lets you drag to there is you turn off the color overlay and it adds a new keyframe so see when you drag along the timeline the it flashes on and off now here comes the fun part because I think it's what's the green ones oh no no what you can do guys is okay this is a bit short notice if I were you I'd drag it to about two because you need time for all four squares sorry I was doing it just for one so do it for all four squares that's roughly about it if not if not you can always expand it longer so maybe you put in like six seven squares or whatever you're putting in but it doesn't really matter as long as you have the time to do it oh wow oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. remember to drag all of your properties otherwise they disappear so now what you do is you find when it goes black which is at 20 frames so what you do is you keyframe that one and then you go to the next 10 frames I did mine a bit faster than this but this is this is basically the same principle so every 10 frames it changes color so I'm gonna need 40 that's gonna need to go to a 4 but um, I'll show you what I mean so you go to here and you go to your color overlay and then you can go into it into there like say I want this to be a nice baby blue do that and then in the next 10 frames turn it off and it creates a keyframe so as you can see green one goes off green one turns off blue one comes on blue one turns off I'm just gonna drag this across to four three and there right I gotta drag all these across because otherwise they disappear and it's annoying I've had that happen to me many times okay so you can close this one as long as you keep the timeline where it is I don't know why that one disappeared it doesn't really matter as long as it stays like there so when does the blue one turn off so at the next 10 just remember what your time slot is because otherwise you'll get it all out of sync so then at the next 10 frames this is a bit of it oh crap mate. Yeah, balls. Right. Silly me. Uh, there, set a keyframe, drag across, and then. Now I it, I usually have a set pattern, so I usually go da 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 da, etc. But you can do it anywhere you want. I just choose to go this way. Uh, let's let's use a dark pink because I kind of like dark pink. It's pretty cool. And then use keyframe. Oh crap! Right. Oh bollocks! Right. Oh yeah, it's confusing, guys. Well, no, it's not too bad, but. Uh. Isn't it funny that when I don't do this on a video, it's absolutely fine, and the moment I do it on a video, right? 
So now I add the color overlay again, do that, drag forwards, turn the color overlay off, turn it back to black, and I think I might only need three. I'll soon find out. Okay, right. And then obviously on your last rectangle, you're going to do style for 10 frames. Yeah, I'm going to need three. And then your color of choice or you can use gradients you have to map where the gradients are going to be at what times i mean it's not too hard but this can only really be done in photoshop cs6 i think i'm not sure if it can be, oh I just leave it red i'm not sure if it can be done in cs5 or below because i don't think it has the animation stuff like for flash all right and that's like that uh yeah it only needs to be three long so i'm just gonna drag this back and show you a helpful little tip oh drag that forwards there hang on wait oh wow what's this doing oh they're disappearing okay what color is it changing to then um yeah oh really what's that oh it's because it's dragging one forwards yeah i would be careful because it, yeah you can just drag the keyframes about i'm just gonna drag it to 219 and really it's just about messing around a bit because i like things like this and cinema 4d okay so what you can actually do guys is if you go to this little drop down here you go to loop playback most of the time it's ticked but if you press play don't worry if it runs out of frames but yeah you can see it's running at a slower frame rate and the quality goes down but once you save it it's all good but as you can see there 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 and there it does its thing oh my god i don't care Sky i thought i closed you but yeah so that's like that now how i save mine is probably a bit different to how other people might save theirs. I, you go to file, save for web. Okay, this is already getting a bit weird for you guys. Sorry, I'm just gonna quit my Skype. Yeah, I know. All right, now, nah, yeah, there you go, quit. Now what you do is you go to preset and then you go to GIF or GIF or whatever you guys wanna call it. But as you can see, it renders these frames here and it just runs through them. And to be honest, you don't really, is that. Just call it save and then to my desktop. I'll just call it. And you want to set the format to images only and then you just leave it default settings. I'm going to just call it uh, watermark tutorial. But yeah, there you go. Watermark tutorial. You can, like, in it, I make it more transparent in Vegas, in Sony Vegas but you can make it more transparent you know by messing around with the opacity settings um but always keep a psd um so you can edit at any time so then after that you can go to save as and then you go to your library i've got it set up here so i can go photoshops and then in my psds yeah there's a load of stuff there yeah the crackle brush is different but um yeah watermark and then that just saves it as a PSD, so it means that's that. I can close that and it doesn't ask about anything. And then you can go to there, your libraries, your pictures, your photoshops, your PSDs, watermark. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, there we go. Right, it obviously takes time to open. But yeah, that's basically how it works. And as you can see, I've got my watermark here. You can remove the background. Uh, which I can show you how to do because I'm opening this PSD back up. But if you want it to be just like how mine is without any background on it whatsoever, you can go to the background layer and then just remove it. And as you can see, you just get this neat little watermark all by itself. And what you can actually do is you can select around it, so like there. And then you can select all of that. And then I think you can copy it. 
then you can go to new and it should adjust itself usually hang on you should be able to oh, apparently not but yeah so every time you want to edit it you can open the PSD and then you just mess about with it which you don't really need to do if you've done what you want to do but here's the watermark tutorial you can get it to open with Photoshop or you can right click and then open with and because it's a GIF you can open it with your browser and see how it looks so yeah that won't loop it though so you've got to remember to loop it because if you want it to constantly glow that's how it's got to be guys wow hurry up and exit yeah and if you open it as a gif on photoshop it comes up with all the frames but i think that's about it guys so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later